All right, uh, update on the YouTube here. Been having a lot of contractions today, but not necessarily like super painful or anything. Just kind of that dull ache. Kind of feel like Braxton Hicks, but like rhythmic, consistent. Or at least they had been like for maybe a couple hours straight. And then it's kind of like petered out. So we will see if anything comes of this. Um, had some bloody show, so that's a good sign. Yeah, ate dinner and then now things kind of have died off a little bit. Not been feeling a lot of contractions, just randomly here and there, so. Getting all the birth things done, got the birth bag packed, some snacks. The kids bag packed in case they go to grandma's. Got the car seat washed, so we're ready to go. My due date is three days away, so it's a little bit early, but I went five days late with my first two pregnancies. Went a week and a half early last time, so just never know. Waiting it out. Gonna see how it goes. Since it's already like almost eight o'clock, I'm not going to try to push anything today. I think I'm just going to take it easy, try to get a good night's sleep, maybe go for a brisk walk in the morning, see if I can get things moving again. All right, Spurgy, one last guess. Do you think it's a girl or a boy? A boy. And do you have any name ideas? No. All right, that's fine. It's going to take five days to figure out a name, I hope. How long it took us to figure out your name. Henry, what's your last guess? Boy or girl? A boy. Do you have any name ideas? Um, I think it's a name. Runk. What's that? Runk. Runk? Mm-hmm. Huh. Runk. Have you ever heard of anybody with that name? No. But if I so out now, that would be a good name because no one has that name. Brunk with a B, like brunk? Yeah. Henry, did you say brunk or runk? Runk. 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 Oh, that's then, interesting. When they say runk, the other runk will come here. That's not our runk. I don't know if there's anybody else in the world named runk. Ivy, do you think it's going to be a boy or a girl? Ivy, say boy. Hey, Ivy Jane, what's your guess? Bruh. Ivy, say boy. Boy. She said she wants a little brother. Okay, well, guess what? God already knows. It's already either a girl or a boy. You just, just, you just don't know which one it is. But we can't change it. So whatever God gave us, we're going to be happy for, right? Yeah. It might be a boy. It might be a boy. Now listen, what's going to happen is you guys are going to get to come to the hospital and meet the baby, and you're going to see if it's a girl or boy. Look how small the foot's going to be. It's going to be pretty tiny. You're going to find out if it's a girl or a boy, and you're going to find out the name. And then you're going to get to call everybody else and tell them. You'll get to call baby. Grandpa at the big house and the other Grandpa far away. So Ben and I have been sitting on the gender here for forever, <coughs> months and months, and we, you'd think we'd have a name by now, but <laughs> it's harder than it seems. I think, I feel like the more kids you have, the more you've used up, you know, the favorites and... And I haven't even always liked the same names from pregnancy to pregnancy. It's kind of changed. I look back on my my name list from previous pregnancies and I'm just like, they don't really just, none of them are just like, wow. So I kind of start from scratch and Ben too. So we'll see. We think we have a first name. We're struggling with the middle name. We have about five or six different options, so. We'll see. The first two kids, 
or five days old before we settled on a name, which was a long time. And then our last one, we were a little bit faster. Yeah, I think we were like the day of we settled. I feel like people say, oh, come on, you've had nine months. Like you should have a name by now. But I don't know. It's not all just about like seeing the baby and like seeing if the name fits. And that sounds nice and everything, but really it's just like hard to settle. <laughs> I feel like Ben and I, sometimes we like similar names and then sometimes it's like very different. And then of course you have the struggle of like, there's a name I really like. And Ben thought it sounded like a pilgrim name. And he said no. So, whatever a pilgrim name is. There was um, some names Ben liked and I didn't really care for him. You know, of course, it's always like, oh, I need somebody with that name. I don't like that name. So, we'll see. We're working on it. Hopefully, we'll have it figured out. I mean, starting to have some contractions and stuff. So, maybe maybe tonight will be the night to just have that conversation and make a decision. Had an appointment at the doctor's office this morning and everything looks good. Get your water cup over there by the baby's bed. We're just chilling, drinking some bubbly, and playing some go fish to pass the time. I do want some bubbly. You find it? My appointment went well. Everything's looking good. Just a few more days until the due date. Do you want some bubbly in here? I'll give you some. Went on a walk this morning. Didn't really do much. Had a few contractions. But everything's kind of died off again. Just chilling. Probably won't be today. Had a little of that false labor going on. So I don't want to get my hopes up too much. <laughs> I have a feeling I'll probably go late. We'll see. So my due date is two days away. Ivy, how is that bubbly? It's young. Have some bubbly. Fuck. Okay, so it's like 3 a.m. and I've been having contractions about every 10 minutes for the past couple hours. And I can't sleep. I would say they're like on a scale of 1 to 10, probably like a 7 or an 8. Um, but they're still spaced out, so I get a break definitely feel like the real deal to me. I tend to feel the real labor contractions more in my back and that's what these have been. So the past few days I've just been feeling like normal Braxton contractions, some of them harder but all like in the front in my stomach area and yeah but for me personally whenever the real deal kicks in it moves to my back and I have a lot of back labor so been texting with my birth team and just letting them know where I'm at with all this. I don't want to call them over too early and have it fade out. So we will see how this goes. There he is. <laughs> You're in the car seats, but look what I have. I have breakfast for all of us. Yay. Looky, looky. I've got banana nut bread. Two slices. I've got breakfast sandwich. Ooh, yummy. Another breakfast sandwich. Mm.